Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. Can you believe already tomorrow is Thanksgiving? And here at Cross of Christ, that means tonight we're celebrating Thanksgiving. We have our Thanksgiving Eve service tonight at 7 o'clock. And if you're in the area, we'd love to have you join us for worship. We'll be thanking God for his many good gifts to us. And then, of course, receiving those gifts through Word and Sacrament. I'd love to have you join us tonight. That's again, tonight at 7. Tomorrow is the actual day, Thanksgiving Day. And I know a lot of us will be gathering with family, with friends, with lots of people. Gathered around a big table filled with yummy, delicious food. Food that that's cooked and served with love. We'll have much to be thankful for. Yet as I think about that, I realize not everyone will be gathered with family and friends tomorrow. I know that there are people in our own communities who no longer have a large family to gather with. And maybe that's you as you listen to this video and you're going to be celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow alone. And maybe you don't even really feel a need to celebrate because you will be alone. And not everyone's going to have that nice big meal with that yummy delicious food. There will be some who have no food to eat. There will be others who again just don't feel like celebrating this year and they're just gonna skip the turkey skip the meal. Tomorrow we celebrate God's goodness to us. And yet I know that there are some out there. Maybe you just don't feel like there's much to celebrate at all. I want to read to you from Psalm 107 verse 1. It reads, Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. In other translations, that uh, word that's translated as steadfast love, it's also translated as mercy, as grace. So God's mercy, his grace, his great love for you last forever. We have all been blessed by God each and every day, but maybe not blessed in the same ways. We may not all be blessed with a large family to celebrate with tomorrow. We may not all be blessed with a large turkey dinner to celebrate with tomorrow. But we're all blessed. And we all share this blessing the same. We're all blessed in Jesus, who has forgiven our sins, who has risen from the dead, who has won for us the gift of eternal life, who has claimed us as God's own dear children to live with him forever. That is a great blessing that through faith we all have. And so tonight, tomorrow, as we celebrate Thanksgiving, remember those blessings. And then if you are abundantly blessed, think about those who maybe aren't getting to celebrate the same way you are. Is there somewhere out there Someone, sorry, someone out there that you could invite to your dinner tomorrow that you wouldn't maybe think about inviting otherwise. Is there someone who could use a little help with the meal? Think about those people in your life who could use that love. How can you share the blessings God has given you with them? Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your many great blessings to us each and every day of our lives. Lord, help us to remember that we have brothers and sisters out there in our own communities and out there in the world who maybe are not experiencing your blessings in the same way we have. Maybe they're lacking food, or they're lacking friendship, they're lacking family. 
Teach us, Lord, to share our abundant blessings with others, that no one would be lacking. And Lord, we pray in all things that you would help us to remember your greatest blessing. Help us, Lord, to remember your son, Jesus, who died on the cross to forgive our sins, who rose from the dead to win for us the gift of eternal life. And Lord, in all things, help us to remember and be thankful for your blessings to us. In your name we pray. Amen. I'll close by reading our verse again. And let that be our final thought. From Psalm 107, verse 1. I'll give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. Amen.